Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am here to do a Diptyque candle haul. I have a lot of candles from Diptyque um, that I recently purchased. Some I purchased, some I got as birthday gifts, some, you know, that's about it. I got as gifts and birthday gifts. So let's jump right in and show you guys what I got. So the first candle I got is Moss. Now this looks like it says Mooses, uh, but it's French. Moss is a Diptyque Boutique exclusive from the Boutique in Beverly Hills. And this is that candle right here. It basically smells like moss after it's rained. So very green, very a little woody, but it has that fresh dewiness on top that makes it smell amazing. I have not burned this yet, but I'm super excited to burn it because I know when I burn it, it's gonna smell fantastic. I'm not sure if this is like a bedroom scent. I don't know, I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna burn it, but it smells fantastic. So that was Moss. <coughs> Next, I have Jean Cui. Jean Cui is fantastic. I didn't think I would like it at first when I smelled it, but I had to burn it to really experience it. So I did burn it. This is Jonqui. Jonqui means daffodil. Now, I smell daffodil a lot from, <coughs> from different companies, from Yankee Candle, from a lot. And I didn't experience Diptyque's Jonqui until I got it in the mail. And it smells just like a daffodil. Just like it. The dirt from the daffodil, not the dirt from a daffodil, but the, you know, the really earthy from the plant and then that really bright yellow flower. This I had burning in my living room. It filled up the entire living room. Um, I've only burned this once, but it was fantastic. I really loved the springiness that it smelled. It's finally starting to get warm here. So now that it is getting warm, I can finally experience some springy scents. So that was Jean Cui. I actually think that's discontinuous. So if you find it, definitely snatch one up. Then I got this as a birthday present from one of my friends. This is Faux de Bois. Now Faux de Bois is wood fire. I was very, very lenient or nervous to try this at first, but when I smelled it in the store, at first I was like, oh, this is disgusting, I hate it. But as I started to smell it every time I went in, I really, really, really loved it. And my friend's like, what do I get you for my birthday? For your birthday? I said, I really want Faux de Bois from Diptyque. And that's what she got me for my birthday. And it smells so good. I have not burned it yet. But it smells like burning wood. Like a wood fire. Um, I feel like this is great for the living room. When you're cuddled up, maybe watching TV, or reading a book, or just sitting there, you know, really just relaxing. I feel like this is a perfect candle for that. I cannot wait to start burning Faux de Bois. I know it's starting to get springtime now, but... I still am gonna enjoy that candle. And I feel like it's gonna be a super strong one. Faux de Bois. Next, we have Chen. Now I wanted to show Chen and Faux de Bois next to each other because Chen is called Oak Tree. And I feel like if you don't like Faux de Bois, you're not gonna like Chen because Chen is like Faux de Bois' little sister. It still has that woodiness. As you can see, I've burned this quite a bit. But it has some sweetness too. Chen means oak tree. Faux de Bois means wood fire. So you still get the woodiness. I actually had this burning and one of my friends said that it smelled like Home Depot in my living room, which it's not what I was going for, but okay. But as I smell it, I can get maybe a little bit of a, um, of a, oh, of a Home Depot, but more sophisticated than that. Like, I wouldn't spend $60 for my house to smell like Home Depot. But it smells fantastic, phenomenal. I really, really like it. This is another Diptyque Boutique exclusive. Um, Moss Jean Cui is discontinued. And this one. Food Ball you can get anywhere. But I love Chen. I definitely want to repurchase it when I get low because it's really, really great. Next, I have... Oud, and I just bought this and another one with some birthday money at Nordstrom. The next one I'll talk about after this. Um, and I've been eyeing up the Oud candle for a while since I got it with a gift with purchase in a small little size the last time. And it's awesome. 
the small one I use like the really teeny ones not the medium size but the small gift with purchase ones I burned it in my bathroom when I was taking a bath and filled up my whole bathroom so I cannot imagine how strong this oud is gonna be and I'm gonna love it because I love love strong candles so oud is definitely going to be fabulous. Oud is another smoked wood, but it's different than feu de bois. Feu de bois is fired wood. This is just smoked. So almost like wood taken off the grill. I don't know. <laughs> but that's so simple, but it's complex at the same time. Mm. I feel like oud, feu de bois, and chen are ones that you really have to appreciate fragrance to appreciate in your home, but I definitely do and i'm sure if you're looking at this channel you appreciate fragrance too next is the other one that i purchased at nordstrom was patchouli patchouli is a scent working at lush now i've grown to appreciate um patchouli is an interesting scent i i couldn't wait i already burned it um i burned this in my bedroom it smells just like patchouli but it almost has a little bit of a sweetness not like vanilla but it has a little bit of sweetness, so it's not hit you over the head, boom, straight up patchouli. It has a little bit more complexity to it, and I really, really do appreciate that. Mm, it smells so good. Mm, 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 mm. I love patchouli. Patchouli is like a perfume that hippies wore back in the day to mask their odor from not taking a shower. So I know it sounds weird, but it's a beautiful fragrance. Then I actually left the box downstairs for this one. I bought Choiza because I also had it in a, as a little mini gift with purchase and I had to have the full size. This is like a Mexican orange blossom, which sounds crazy, but it really is fantastic. I said fantastic so many times in this video. It really is, really is unique. It's not just like typical, oh, it smells like orange blossom. No diptyque is just what it is. And that's what I love about this. Mm, it smells so good. I actually love this displayed without the box with one of the diptyque black lids on the top. I just think it looks so nice. Then I have two limited editions. I don't believe they make these anymore. This one is from the Tomas Meyer collection. This is Old Montuk Highway. I'm definitely going to need the description for this because these are complicated. Not complicated. Complex fragrances. They are in a black jar. They have white wax. And Old Montuk Highway says, let's read the description for this. Old Montuk, whoop. Old Montuk Highway, on a bluff high above the roaring Atlantic Ocean, featuring scents of lady slipper orchids. Oh, that brings me back. Black pine, bayberry, heather misted by the salty ocean breeze. So, in other words, it's very sweet, but it has some florals to it and aquatic notes. I really like this. This, um, like it says, inspired by the beaches of California. Mmm. It's very, these are hard to describe, diptyque fragrances. They really, really are. But I'm excited for this one. <coughs> and then the other one is Palm Beach, which a lot of people, including Tiffany D, were really talking about this one. And this one is probably the most popular one out of the line. So Palm Beach evokes a walled tropical garden on a southern Florida barrier island featuring scents of jasmine and iris, lemon and lime trees, salt from the sea, and fresh cut grass. So it sounds kind of different, but it does not smell like everybody says like suntan lotion. It definitely does not smell like suntan lotion. It smells like the beach, but not coconut, pineapple, all that. It's complex. It's very complex with the sea air. It has like the Old Montuk Highway sweet without the floral which I really appreciate. I cannot wait to start burning these in like the dead of summer when it's super hot outside and I don't want to do anything but sit in my air condition and enjoy a gorgeous, gorgeous candle. Then I got a small tuberose as a gift. So this is a 2.4 ounce. This is the one that retails for $32, I believe, instead of 62. And it looks like this. It's filled really close to the top. Um, I'm not the massive fan of tube rows. That's why um, my friend said, what do you want? And I said, I'll take the small tube rows because I love 
tuberos so much, but I don't love it on me. I like it in a candle, but I, I'm not on them. I'm really hit and miss with it. So I love it, but I don't. That's crazy. So the small one's going to be great for like a bathroom or something to really experience. So that's tuberos. Then I got my good friend Allison, who works at the Beverly Hills Candle, told me we got them back in. So I bought two. One is in the pretty gift package and one is regular. And this is their new limited edition Beverly Hills Candle. It is a lemon, mint, orchid, and freezer. This is inspired by um, oh God, Don Lopper. I don't remember. It's his wallpaper that he had in his hotel, but look at how pretty the jar is. It's so pretty, and it's so fresh. It's like opening up the windows in a lemon garden, but not overly lemon. So you smell the florals, you smell the lemon, a little bit of the mint. It's very, very, very spring-like. I love it so much. Obviously, I love all these so much. So that was the Beverly Hills Candle. And then last but not least, this has been discontinued, I believe, or it won't be back for a long time. This is Curiosities. Now, Curiosities is part of their 34 Bazaar Pillar collection. Ooh, I can already smell it. So it is a pillar candle. And I'm not burning this till I get a photos for for the pillar. But it looks like this. It says Diptyque right there. There we go. And this is the scent of freshly sharpened pencils. I know that sounds crazy. Why would you want to smell your house to smell like freshly sharpened pencils? But it really, really, really does. It's crazy how much it does. And I was like, mm, I really don't want to smell. But then I thought, when I was in elementary school and I sharpened a pencil, I would smell what the pencil smelled like. And I'd be like, it actually smells pretty good. So I guess it's not too strange. And I bet you're curious to see what that smells like, hence the name. But that's Curiosity. Definitely, if you can find one, pick it up. It's awesome. I believe that pillar was 75. I could be wrong. But that's how much I believe. And this is what one of the, the original boutique looked like. Pretty cool. But anyway, that was my Diptyque Candle Collection. Um, stay tuned pretty soon for a review on this baby. This is the electric diffuser from Diptyque. That's all I'm saying. As well as reviews of these babies. Yeah, Diptyque, I've fallen hard for Diptyque, and I'm grateful. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Let me know if you've tried anything from Diptyque. Bye.